Hey everybody, I want to take a little bit do a video. It's been a little bit since I shared anything with anybody. So what I want to do today, we got a car show right down the road in Graham. So I guess before that, I figure I pull everything out and do my own little car show. That way, everybody can kind of see what I've been doing, what I've been up to, give you some updates on some stuff, and then kind of show you what I'm going to do forward. So very first, this one's not new to the channel. 68 Nova. This is my dad's old race car, 427. Original six-cylinder car, power glide, vinyl mat, no frills, except now it's got the solid roller, 427, four-speed, 12-bolt. So it's got the full three-inch exhaust. I've never even really cleaned up underneath this car. Dealer plate on it. Now I still do need to come back and end up repainting the rocker here on this side there's some dings and dents there's the front fender where the car was in the building when it was on fire so and it wouldn't hurt to probably clean it but i haven't driven it much i dri we had a main street cruise here a month or two ago i took it to it and that's the last time i really was able to drive it now beside that we have a 68 camaro i'm uh, 68 chevelle this is a real 138 car this is the one i drive the most probably out of all of them so far it's got the original front seats in it it's original dash pad original headliner console rear seat is out of a buick that i found it's uncovered it has not been recovered so it, it still needs a little bit but not really bad now the car was painted somewhere between probably what 10 12 years ago it's got a few little places on it but overall, it's pretty pretty nice. It's a little dirty, too. Once again, been sitting in the building. It's got a 454, basically, crate motor in it that I drive around with that turbo 400. I have the numbers matching motor sitting up there to the house. I mean, in the shop for it. It's just not in the car. And then after this one, this is the one I think a lot of people have been wanting to see. It is finally pretty much done. I still need to get alignment on the front. And... It seems like the expansion valve is not opening up. I've tried to put Freon in it, and it's freezing at the expansion valve when I'm putting the recommended amount of Freon in it. We got your C5 disc brakes, the wheels, tires on it. You can see the paint body. I still am probably going to want to paint the steering wheel and put it back in, but everything else... We got all that stuff. Basically, everything inside is new except for door panels. Everything is new except for door panels. We got the gauges over there. But do a little walk around. And once again, in probably a minute, I'll just go through them and we'll open the hood so you can kind of see. I got the plate back. That's a Not 6. This is originally a six cylinder car, so I think it's kind of funny to have a Not 6 vintage tag on it. But she's pretty sharp underneath. The rocker spears is black, so it helps pull them with the black wheels. I was, the first day I got to drive it on the street was yesterday, so I drove it around a little bit. All brand new chrome trim. You name it, everything's new on this car. So once again, it's got a 68 dated 327 in it, which as far as I can tell, I think it actually has a 350 crank. So it's 350, even though it's coded for a 210 horse 327. So we got it, that motor in it. it runs very well. It has a three-speed Saginaw and a 308 10 bolt under this car. So it does run very, very well. It drives out nice at least. And then beside this, we have the 68 Camaro with the big block blower motor in it. As you can see, the whole front grille, everything, I got it back in there. Everything's bolted up, spoilers underneath. Now this is one I want to sit back for a second and just show you how tough this car looks. This thing's pretty killer. It runs pretty good too. So the only thing I'm waiting on it is I got to go do tag stuff with it. I need to get tags and then increase the insurance to drive it. I got Haggerty on it, but it's the as you build insurance. And it needs, now that it's done, it's going to need a lot more. I still need to put the wiper blades on it. Really, the last things on this thing is wiper blades and the speedometer. i got to figure out if the cable's messed up, what, and then finish putting the steering wheel together. i got to get the guts for the steering wheel, but everything else, it's all together. 
front seat and matches the back seat. I had it custom done, so they match. And then you'll see the tail panel. So this one is a satin, where this one here is high gloss. So you can kind of see it. So I did this one. I, I wanted this one where it stands out a little bit, but not a whole lot. Especially when the motor is a big call out as enough as it is, just hearing it run. And then walk around it. But it looks good. It's got a basically a 454, 30 over. It's got pro complement heads. It's got a Elgin hydraulic roller in it. It has the M24 speed and 308 12 bolt gears. It's actually Yukon. They don't they don't have a 307, but I put the brand new set of Yukon rear gears in it. Yukon pause attraction unit. So she set up pretty good, I'd say. She runs out really nice. I drove it up and down the road just a little bit to make sure everything's okay before I go put tags on it. And then beside this, the car that got everything started, my very first car, my little 67 Chevelle 300 two-door post car. Now currently it is powered by a 350 hydraulic roller motor with aluminum heads, forged internal rods, pistons, crank, but it's a one piece remain seal. I hate leaks. I like the one piece because they're a lot better about not leaking. So it's a pretty slick, sweet setup on this bad boy. Walk around it. Now this is a custom color I had mixed when I was literally in high school. I wanted something that stood out that was different. And you'll see the paint, it kind of flips, flops, changes. It pretty much takes whatever's around it. You can even see even in around the grass, it pulls out a green, but it's it's a platinum silver. I'll show you a little bit of the inside of it. Now I got a brand new dash pad. I gotta be honest, I've been a little lazy. I have not put it in. I need to do that. We got the big two and five eighths gauges in it. We got the retro Bosch. I really like to find another sun track to put in like a hat in it. But that does a job. It's got tweed seat covers, the carpet that I cut when I was literally a kid and put in it. So the majority of this car is pretty much the way it was when I drove it in high school, other than disc brakes, tubular control arms, and the Boss 338s. Outside, externally, it looks identical. But I do drive this one pretty often too. It's got that smoky ram intake manifold that's pretty cool to take to a car show because everybody's scratching their head trying to figure out what it is. Now, my work truck, and as a, like I think I've said in many videos before, my brother says you got a really weird idea of a work truck. It is a three-quarter ton, 71 C20. It has eight lug. I did put the Duramax wheels on it. You can buy the lug nuts that it go from metric to standard. They bolt directly on the truck. No modifications necessary. Now, this one, funny enough has a little 305 out of a Monza that's had a lot, quite a bit of work done to it. I've had head work, his camshaft, um, ported the intake a little bit. I tried to do a lot just to make it a little peppier because I drive it. I don't, you don't really need a ton of cubic inches for something you're going to drive. They don't make a lot of sense. So it's geared uh, 410 with a turbo 350 from the factory. But this is the original medium blue. It was originally two-tone, but work truck makes more sense to be just solid one color. And it does have a spray-in tenable bed liner in it. This is the quartz kit, which is, as you can tell, I think it's been in here probably at least three, four, five years. It still looks really good. I mean, it's got some scratches and places, but I use it. I mean, this isn't a truck that I just sit inside and it actually stays under a cardboard, so. It gets tons and tons of usage. Now, inside for this one, excuse, it's a little dirty. We have a covered seat. The original door panels I put back in it. It's got a brand new urethane dash pad. Black carpet, just so once again, just shows less. I mean, you could have put blue in it, but this to me makes more sense on a driver. It's got the monster tack. It's got, a, uh, I guess, what is that, a Grant steering wheel on it. It's fun. I love it. 
So this is a bunch of the cars, and now once again, what I'll do now is we'll go through them and I'll show you a little bit about what looks under the hood of each of the cars. If you're still hanging on here with us, you can see kind of what I got. I feel like I got maybe too many big block cars now. But then again, can you ever have too many big block cars? So this one, it's a 289 block casting on, on the end of it. Four bolt main, 427. 7115 crank it's got wise co pistons it's got ls6 heads on it that have been cut way way down so it's about 11 and 11 and a quarter i think so i did 11.1 11.19 i think is the compression when i configured everything it does have a zl1 carburetor on it which is dated i think november 69 Oct no october 69 deep groove pulley on there now I'll keep mind this thing still does have drum brakes on it line lock got a huge four row radiator in it cool can pretty sweet looking thing and we'll scoot over here so keep in mind this thing I drive a lot this is probably going to be the dirtiest out of all of them give me one second Wow. I need to clean it up. I'll be honest. The bracket are losing a little paint, but she still looks okay. It definitely cleans up if, you, if it takes a few minutes just to wipe it down. This is one of the cars I don't think I've actually had the hood open in probably several thousand miles. It just doesn't need anything. It runs really, really well. We'll go over here to the 68. And this one, y'all have kind of seen some updates on it, but... what we got going on here so that is a 327 block once again it's dated 68 210 horse it runs really really well as you can tell this stuff gets a lot of tension which makes it harder to do a video but we got the chrome brake booster chrome AC compressor chrome water pump chrome alternator I mean it's it's a lot of polish. It's a lot, a lot to keep clean on that one. I'm gonna we'll scoot over here. And the big block blower motor. So you can see it. We got the torque storm in there. We got the hood cut out. So the hood shuts, no problem. So it is a it's like a 72 454 block two bolt main i want to say it's studded it might not be i think arp it's got arp bolts in the bottom it's got a forged crankshaft ls6 crank in it once again pro comp heads the elgin cam in it it runs pretty good it's got roller rockers it's very very solid But it fits the, the kind of bruiser look of the car. And then once again, one of the coolest motors that I got. Hold on there. There we go. The 350 with the Smoky Ram. So once again, it's 350, four bolt main, I think this is actually a uh, over-the-counter like ZZ4 block because it's got some weird numbers on the front. It doesn't see like CE or all the other stuff. So as far as I can tell, that's what it is. But it does have a hydraulic roller with the plate and all in it. It's got the SY1. It's got a 750 Demon currently on it. It runs really well. A lot of people say you can't drive these on the street, but I drive this thing all the time, so... Ha. so thank you for watching like i said i got a few things to finish up on these two camaros then after that probably gonna go up there there's kind of hard to see it there is a 65 bel air that's up there that needs to be done and then i also have a 70 el camino that i have majority of all the parts for 
So, once again, stay tuned. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Thank you for watching.